Well, alrighty. Now that I've told you about the white collar crime, I'm gonna tell you where my real be come up began, and it didn't have anything to do with the white collar crime. It was the, let's just call this the second boarding house. And I read some of the comments, oh, you took a shortcut. I did something once, well, for about eight months, 21 years ago. And that seems to be for the short-sighted, for the mental midgets to have been the reason for my success. Even though in the video, I said that I stopped doing it and I returned the money. Hmm. Here is one of the common things you guys are going to understand about success. Success is a mix of failure and reapplication. Now, incidentally, whenever I pulled off these capers, they always worked. The first credit card situation worked. The uh, check counterfeiting thing immediately worked. There was no buildup, there was no reworking, there was, it was just, I did it and it worked. And I think that's one of the things that scared me because it was too easy. You know, and I, I mentioned that, it was too easy. It was ridiculously easy. And in that path becomes the seduction. And that's why I stopped. But because I pulled that first caper, I had to move out of that first boarding house in the West End. And I don't talk about this because, you know, essentially I would have been like having to talk about the white collar crime stuff to talk about moving to the East Point boarding house, which was the beginning of the come up. Because I left there and the same guy who owned the house in the East Point, he owned the house in East, well, in the West End, he owned the house in East Point, he owned the house in the Kitty. Actually, I think he had like six or seven of them all throughout Atlanta. So I talked to him and I moved to the East Point house and the East Point house was very, very different than the West End house because the East Point house had girls. Like, not like hood rats, but nice girls with normal jobs. It was crazy. And the room was like, I mean, essentially, because I had pulled the capers and I had money, I was able to afford because the rent went from 160 per week to 210 per week. But this room was carpeted. It was much nicer, nicer furniture, nicer house and the house was smaller. The most people could be in their house at one time was four, because it only had four bedrooms. So there was a kitchen, a laundry room, you know, it, it was like living in almost like a normal house. It, it was such a departure from the West End house. And literally these houses were four or five miles apart. But the, it was just such a different, the neighborhood was different. The neighborhood was a more of a working middle class neighborhood and it was just a different vibe because this is how I got into the agency and started to work for T-Mobile. Now, because once I pulled off my capers and I moved out of that house and I moved to the East Point house, life got interesting because this was toward the end of 98. In 99 was my last year in the boarding house. And it was a very interesting year. I may even do a whole series on the second boarding house because shortly after I moved in there, then I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to find the picture of this chick to put on the community page because shortly after I moved in there, I moved in the house and it was me and another dude and two women. And then that dude moved out and then Shorty moved in. And it, it was also very different because it wasn't just black folks. We had white a white chick up in there, an Asian chick up in there, a black chick up in there. It was very, very different. So at this point, 
because I had a little red, I updated my wardrobe. Well, like, I didn't go out and go out and buy like 1600 Kelly Kelly jackets. I didn't do this stuff. I just went to regular department stores. And, you know, I freshened up my fit, with shaving. It, you know, environment is so important. Environment. Because I was in a different headspace because I was in a different environment. I wasn't in the West End, which was big fishy, big fish. It was, it was just totally different. So I was able to sit in there and strategize because I wasn't in a situation where I had to be working trash jobs. And this is one of the reasons that I elevated to the agency because I went on the computer, the computer that I got through White Collar Crime, and I found several agencies and I started going to apply to agencies to get these temp jobs which were longer and paid much better and this this is why I say this house was to come up because I went to I think on a good month I was thinking I was making like 14 15 bucks an hour at T-Mobile with commission so it was for the time it was much better job it was nothing like the rent a crate job but what happened was I had a mental reset moving to that second boarding house because the room had heat and air conditioning. The room in the West End did not have heat or air conditioning, it was just a room. So it, it was way more comfortable. I would go in the kitchen and pretty much there was never any I didn't have any sloppy roommates. I never had a situation where I would go into the kitchen and it was just a disaster area like the West End. Like the West End, it could be any and everything, any and every day. It could be a total chaos or it could be cleaned up. But the house was always clean, it was always picked up. And we had a very nice living area with a nice television. And since there was only four of us, it and everyone seemed to have like a different schedule so there was really never a conflict but this is what started to happen up in the second boarding house my first experience was with the little chocolate shorty like i said i'm gonna find a picture of her uh, a picture that looks like her and as right, close as i can and put it up and I remember that night I was in there, you know, and my, I was always a neat person. My room was always neat and clean and I had myself a nice, I had a queen size bed, I had a nice comforter, the room was carpeted. I mean, from the room in the West End to this room, it was like going from um, India, the streets of India, to move into like Great Britain and being on Kensington. If you know anything about Britain, Kensington is a very wealthy area. It was just such a radical departure. And I remember I took it, taking a shower and I was doing some stuff on the computer and then it was like, and open the door and it's her. And I'm like, I knew her name. Her name was Keisha. And I was like, hey, how you doing? Hey, do you mind if I do a little research on your computer? And I was like, sure. Come on in, pull out the seat, get on the bed, let her do what she was doing. And then I was like, you know, I'm about to uh, go to bed. And that's when she did what she did. And it was just like, huh, that was interesting. And then we developed a little relationship to the point where she was always in my room because she was always on the computer and you know spend the night do whatever whatever and it, was, it was just because I had a computer and then Keisha actually used my computer uh, looked up some jobs and she got a better job and she eventually moved out of the house which was cool because you know because the house was literally half a mile from the MARTA station. And if you're a person in a boarding house situation, that's gold. Half a mile from the MARTA station? You don't have to take no bus. You don't have to connect. What? 
So I was living the life. So Keisha moves out and then this Asian chick moves in. She's in about three weeks, one night. I opened up the door and I kind of knew her name and I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you know, she, we had different schedules and everything. And she was like, I hear you got a computer. And I'm like, yeah, I do. She said, you mind if I browse the internet? Sure, come on in. So she comes in. Now she, 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 she has, she's got full clothes on. She ain't in no robe and stuff. She comes in and she starts hitting up some websites and stuff and we're chatting and everything. And you know, she does what she needs to do, then she leaves. And then um, what happens next is it gets very interesting because the next day, it's about 10 o'clock at night, hey, hey, you mind if you use your internet? So, you know, for about a week straight, this chick was coming over to use the internet and then about the seventh day, she comes in, she's barefoot. She's got these little gray shorts on, this little pink shirt on, and I can tell she has no underwear under there. And then that night we end up. I was like, and once again, she was in my room. It was, it, 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 this was an ongoing thing because you know, when you live in a boarding house, you're not like trying to quote date, you know, you're not, it, it's just, it's just very, very challenging. So I was just like, this is cool. So I was making good money at T-Mobile. I was smashing my little Asian hottie and it was funny. And all of the things you get used to is that boarding houses are very uh, transitional, that people are coming and going, people are coming and going, people are coming and going. And after this was just about three months before I got fired from T-Mobile, she moves out and then there's this black chick that moves in. She is, well, actually black chick moves in and there was a white chick that had moved in and then you know, I was up in the front area watching television and the white chick comes in her name's Sheila and she's like, hey, I hear you got a computer. And all of this is like, I hear you have a computer. It's, it's funny. And I was like, yeah, I do. She's like, you mind if I do a little internet browsing? And I was like, sure. So she comes in the room, you know, once again and literally about eight, nine days smashing that and it was just one of the lessons that I learned is when you have assets <laughs> you have ass because it, it was just funny it, 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 it's just this 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 whole thing repeated itself and then we were messing around then I got fired from T-Mobile then I did my ultimate caper which was to create my own reference. Cause if you don't know the story of how I got the job at Rent-A-Crate, what I did is after I got fired from T-Mobile, what I did is I came home and I used that computer and I went to monster.com and I found jobs that I could do and I created my own fake reference. For those of you who want to know the employment laws, apparently that they can't ask too many questions cause they only asked me two questions. Did he work for you and would you hire him again? Yes and yes. And I got the job at Rena Crate. So after I got the job at Rena Crate, I took the last of my little stove bread. Cause one of the things I did, I, I, I worked at T-Mobile and I got a check and I kept a lot. I kept, I had about of the 15K I had about 10K left. And this enabled me to rent a house literally around the corner. Cause let me tell you how I met this chick. How many of you remember blackplanet.com? 
and I met this chick on Black Planet and we became friendly and everything. And she said, oh, I got a house. And she became an early real estate investor. So she had bought another house and she was moving in there. And so she rented me her house for a thousand bucks a month, which included utilities. And it was a, there was an upstairs area and there was living room, bedroom, area, kitchen, bedroom. Then this went off to an apartment. So I was renting that for a G a month, which I could easily afford with my new Renecrate salary. And then I actually moved my boy Don from the boarding house upstairs and had him paying me 500. So I was able, and then I rented out the apartment. So I was living rent free. And then this is the story of the come up because see, like, you know, there's one person, you took a shortcut. Once again, I had good money, you know, better money management habits, you know, cause one of the things I learned that got me in that situation was I didn't save any money. So whenever I got my hands on a group of money, cause like I said, I moved into this house, I had 10 G's and then it took two to move into the house. And then I moved my boy Don in and then initially got, you know, cause what I did was I let him move in. I didn't even charge him a security deposit. I just got, so I got like $600 back, $500 back like that. Then I rented out the apartment and that person I didn't know. So I did charge them a security deposit. So I got my like two G's back, start making money and rent a crate, stayed at rent a crate, then moved to panel systems unlimited and made even more money. And my little savings account probably never got below 15 K. And then I got the big boy job at business environments. And that's when my savings account and that was to come up because the, the shift in environment was huge because I, you know, I was comfortable. I, I was, I was getting, getting a lot of ass. Um, it, 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 it was just wild. There, there's some more stories about the second boarding house. I may go into, I may not, but it was the craziest thing of how that computer facilitated me getting the job at rent a crate facilitated the arrangements facil it just facilitated everything and that is probably one of the best <laughs> illicit decisions i ever made so let's go ahead we're, we're not going to create any scamming courses we're not going to do any of that i may create a another mindset course because like right now it's 30 days to $2,500. This is free. You can go ahead and get that. And then there's the hustler's mindset below. You can go ahead and get that. I, I may create something, but what I'm not going to create anything else because I got a lot of stuff I got to do. I got to work on the YouTube thing. I got to work on the ultimate money. So this will be something that if it happens, it'll be in the future and I will let you guys know. And if you go ahead and get 30 days to $2,500 and the hustler's mindset You'll be on the email list and uh, you'll be able to get notified about that. So that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to watch this next video.